losing a major mea culpa tonight by a school superintendent. He apologized to News 13 after our investigative report uncovered health violations, including mice and rats, droppings and rodent poison at his district's cafeteria food warehouse. He admitted the crisis was downplayed and that efforts were made to keep us from exposing the extent of the problem. News 13's Nancy Laughlin just returned from Gallup. Nancy. Dick, yesterday the superintendent sent out a news release calling the media coverage misleading. Tonight he did a serious about face and finally allowed us into that warehouse. This is what state inspectors found inside a refrigerator at a food warehouse at the Gallup McKinley County School District. A dead mouse, mouse droppings, and rat poison. State investigators tell us they had given the school district violation after violation for more than a year, even bringing the problem to the attention of state lawmakers. We're not on a witch hunt. We're just trying to fix the problem. But warning after warning and the major problems, like rodents and an unreliable freezer, weren't being addressed. And the district even sent out food it was supposed to destroy. Tonight, Superintendent Ray Arsenal held a public meeting to correct what he called misleading information put out by the media. But when pictures like these surfaced, the superintendent instead apologized. I realized that they were not corrected in a timely manner. Again? And that there's blame to go around on our part, that it should have been taken care of, and I'll take the responsibility for it. And again. Please, from yesterday, it says that there was misleading media coverage. Um, and I know our station covered this. What, what was misleading about that? And I, I don't believe it was misleading. I'll retract that. I think that the media coverage was appropriate. The school district is accountable and should have been held accountable for it. And again. My colleague, I know my colleague, Holland, had called you numerous times and did not get any phone calls returned. And I did not respond, and in the future I will. Arsenault says he did not realize how severe the problem was, but has now hired a professional exterminator, moved the rat poison outside the food warehouse, and is in the process of buying a freezer that works. So we've done everything we can to be sure it's a safe environment for our children. Ago. The district also refused to let us into that warehouse a couple of weeks ago, but we had the incriminating pictures from a source and they let us in. Back to you. All right, Nancy, the superintendent says that hole in the door that allowed the rodents in is now fixed and that they will have a new $350,000 freezer by November.